Okay, now that we've done with the control placement and rename, we need to, yeah, first, as usual, first transformation in the controller. So I'm gonna just modify. Modify and face transformation. I'm gonna put it on my shelf here, and just whenever I select all the controller that want to freeze this transformation, and hit freeze tra freeze, freeze transformation. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Just double check over here. Now let's begin with the spine rate. Okay, this is a uh, what we call it as FK spine setup. Uh, which we gonna control the spine without using the IK. So we're gonna use the controller to control the rotation of the spine. So we're gonna know we gonna uh, constrain the joint to the controller using the orient constraint so that the controller will be able to control the orientation or the rotation of the joint okay start with select the, the controller first and select the, oh sorry for the hip control we're going to use a parent constraint because we kind of want the this controller to be able to control not only the rotation but also the transition and the movement as well so for this controller, we're gonna apply the parent constraint. Select controller first, and shift select the join. Go to constraint and parent. Reset setting. Make sure the maintain offset stick and click add. And for this one, select here. Select. Okay, this one you're gonna use the orient constraint. Constraint, orient, reset setting, and make sure the maintain of sex tick, and click add. For this one, you just gonna hit G for the repeat last action. And this one here, hit G. So, you're gonna ignore the, the neck first. So now we will be able to move the rotation of the spine but somehow when we move the rotation of the spine the controller for the upper spine did not follow the joint so we need to assign another constraint so that the controller will follow the position of the joint by constraining the controller to the joint using the point constraint so we're gonna select the joint first and then select the controller and go to constraint and point constraint reset the setting and click on the maintain offset and click add do the same thing here just hit G here G and do not not necessary for this one so if we rotate the controller here it will follow see okay, see? okay. now what we're gonna do we got we kind of want whatever we rotate this controller over here this controller will also follow the rotation so let's say if I select this three controller and rotate it it will create a curvy spine so in this case it didn't create a curvy spine so we gonna do some setup to to allow that to happen 
first we're gonna start with this uh, chest control we're gonna group it just hit ctrl G sorry yeah ctrl D to create a group and name it as chest control G and make sure the pivot of the chest same with the pivot of the controller which is uh, on the join so you're gonna move the pivot hit insert and hold B to snap to the join if you see now yeah enjoy so we're gonna bring this uh, group into the spine to control okay we're gonna bring this here just middle click and drag so now we rotate this spine to the chest also, we also rotate and now we're gonna create another group for the spine too just hit Ctrl G and rename it as Spine Zero to Control G and also adjust the pivot so we'll mesh the same pivot with the controller. And then you're gonna bring the spine control G to the spine one control. Just simply click and drag the spine control. So now whenever we rotate the spine control, spine two also control. If we select all the three controller one by one manually and hit E for rotation, we rotate it will create a curvy spine. and one more you're gonna group the spine one control control d spine zero one control on g and bring the pivot hit insert and hold b right here And then we're gonna move it in under the hip control. And done with the spine. And right now, we just have to add one more controller for the to control the head. So just gonna parent the disjoint that controlling the head to the controller using the orient constraint to so simply select the controller first and select the head go to the constraint orient reset setting click on the maintain offset hit add so now whenever we move the, the controller the head will also move and see we need to do one more thing since the controller didn't follow the the join we need to assign the point constraint to the controller we're gonna select the join first and select the controller go to the constraint point constraint just gonna reset the setting just in case hit the maintain offset and click that so now if you rotate the the rig the controller will also follow and the controller will be also able to control the rotation of the head and now we're done with the rig